so I feel like I should have ran through a ribbon, maybe done some acrobatics. I don't have the strength, and I don't think Kaiser would cover it, though, is the other problem, so. How are we? Are we having a good time? Yeah! Perfect comedy festival! Make some noise. Love it. Uh, yeah, there, uh, like the uh, AI voice in the booth said, uh, there will be prizes at the end of this thing, so there's little uh, raffles in your caddy, so just fill those out. Uh, do it while I'm up here, though. Don't do it while the real comedians are doing their thing. That way, you don't miss the show. But do get those filled out, and at the end of it, uh, there will be prizes. One of those prizes is a pony, so... No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, no. I'm legally obligated to tell you that it is not a pony, but wouldn't it be awesome? Gas prices being what they are? Okay. Uh, so yeah, my name is Jose Barrientos. A little about me. Uh, I have an unusual day job. I am a penetration tester. Yeah, no, when I say that, people avoid eye contact and they should. Uh, I, that's what it's called. I didn't call it that. I'm a professional hacker. My job is to hack into companies and tell them how I did it. That's what it's called, penetration testing. There's a shortened version called pen testing, but I feel like that's worse. Because it just sounds like I show up to your company like, this one works. This one does not. Uh, yeah, people ask me, I got into hacking when I was 12 years old. I broke into AOL.com and they did not appreciate it. I'm 12 years old, I just hear knocking at the door. I open it, a bunch of cops, detectives. My first thought was, well, back to Mexico for us. We had a good run. But they were looking for my mom, Alicia, because everything is in her name, right? And I was like, my mom? You're looking for her? She's a career nanny. So I was like, oh shit, what did she do? Because let's be real, she had been beating us for years. <laughs> but nobody cared. I was like, is she hitting white kids? Is that where we draw the line? All of a sudden. Uh, yeah, no, they figured out it was me. They figured out it was me. I, uh, I had to go do two weeks of community service, two weeks, I don't know if you know, at the time they used to segregate that by race, so they put 12-year-old Pokemon master computer prodigy Jose Barrientos with, like, legit cholos. <laughs> Very terrifying. I didn't want to get my ass kicked, so first day of community service, I thought I'd blend in, right? They surrounded me like sharks, and I'm like, what you waiting for, is it? And I was like, psh, computer hacking, what though? <laughs> they're like, what the fuck is that, bro? And I was like, I can control your computer with my computer, is it? They got really quiet, and they're like, like brujeria homes? And I was like, like witchcraft homes. So I joined the gang, it was fucking awesome. It was great. I don't, uh, I don't take life very seriously. I grew up Mexican, obviously, because I am Mexican. I don't know why I just phrased it that way. But in case you were wondering, uh, very nice. No, I do like it. Um, very superstitious, my family. Not, not, not too bad, except I, I suffer from sleep paralysis. I don't know if you know what that's like. It's when you wake up paralyzed, screaming very bad. This happened to me as a kid. I would wake up screaming. My mother would come into the room and she would make it way worse. She'd be like, honestly, Jose? It's the devil. I mean, listen, he could have killed you, but he decided not today, because you're a good boy who listens to his mother. Good night. How fast and aggressive is that? My, uh, my mom's an English teacher also, in addition to the nannying. I'm not kidding. You can laugh. It's a scam of the century. She like watched one Inglés Sin Barreras. <laughs> She's like, I can do it. But uh, people, people think I'm making fun of her, but no, like seriously, she teaches her students, and she's like, no, you don't say it that way, and I feel like interrupting her and being like, actually, mom, you don't say it that way. More technical. Uh, uh, no, uh, she, she taught me how to speak English, set me up for failure. For instance, um, well, it's true, in fourth grade, I had a really thick accent. I didn't know anything. We had to do a book report on an animal. I got the chameleon, but I didn't know how to say that word, so I asked mom. I was like, mom, how do I say that? And she's like, that? Chameleon. And I was like, are you sure? She's like, absolutely. So I'm up there, fourth grade. Little dorky Jose was like, the chameleon is a lizard, he's super cool, he can like change colors. <laughs> that was my nickname for fourth grade, chameleon. <laughs> it's just a lot of gaslighting, I had a parakeet, pet parakeet, green, the best, he dies. And uh, you know, I was, at, I was at summer camp, I come back, but I didn't know he died, and he's blue. And I was like, what happened to my parakeet? And I was like, oh my gosh, Jose, you will not believe this, he miss you so much. He changes for this blue. <laughs> and I was like, well, if Chameleon can do it. Like, that makes and I believed that well into adulthood. Do you know how embarrassing it is as a grown ass man to be like, well, I mean, parakeets are known in moments of extreme duress to change like, oh my fucking God, he died. <laughs> I also love that my mom was like, I will not go to two pet stores. <laughs> you don't have green ones? Back up the blue one, I'll spin it. <laughs> All right, we, get, we ready to get this started? Okay.